Hi, my name is Pascal Doucet. I'm the P of Sale at Doucet Machinery. Today we're going to take the opportunity to demo the Doormaster door clamp. Today we are showing an eight section door clamp. Uh, we also have a single section and five section. How do you determine if it's a five or eight? Uh, it depends on the production capacity, how the work cell is going to be organized. If you have like uh, operator pre-assembly the door, you can go quite fast by loading the door. And the eight section, some, some customer do up to 1,000 doors a day in there with a, in a double configuration like this. What, uh, and what's important is the amount of time you're going to be under pressure. So eight section, I would say we try to go around seven and eight minutes per door going in the press, under pressure. Uh, what we're demonstrating is the model called RDM2 miter without button. Uh, MITER stands for, it's because it's made, it's universal, so you can either do a 45 degree door or either a 90 degree door with the same machine. Uh, so, uh, as you want to make the adjustment, uh, let's say uh, what happened normally in most of the cases, uh, the door is going to come in, it's pre-assembled on a side table, the operator comes close and he can make the adjustment. So, he can move all the clamp quickly to the door size. Even that horizontal door, uh, you have a lever from that end here. The goal is to bring it to the corner of the door. So we apply the pressure in the corner. This system comes with what we call the triple P system, which is a three position valve. You can be either zero pressure, low pressure, or high pressure. So right now, the first step, as I'm doing a 45 degree door, I'm gonna go to the low pressure mode. So at that point, the clamp moves slowly to the door. It applies about 10 PSI of pressure. As, as you can see, I can still move the door. So if I'm doing a 45 degree with a little play, I can still move the corners. Like here, I could see I was having kind of a thickness difference. So I push with my corners. Sometimes people use a, a little hammer to finish that up. And you can also be back as you did not make the final squeeze out of the glue. You won't lose the door, you may maybe Maybe you're having a missed machine part, but you can still recycle all the other part. Now, if I like my pressure setting, everything's look good, now I'm gonna go to the full pressure mode. Now I have my full pressure. In the low pressure mode, I was having about 10 PSI, more or less. Now, as I said, I can do also a 90 degree door. So when I do the 90 degree, coming in, loading my door, uh, and then, as I'm doing a only a 90 degree, I don't need to go to the low pressure sequence because I don't need to square. The system, when I go to the full pressure mode, will move the horizontal clamp first to square and then it will apply pressure on the other one. Now, uh, as I'm ready to rotate, the only thing we need to have is you push the button here and it will index one cycle. It, now we'll be ready to unload the door from the previous section coming in. We are uh, showing a second clamp, which is the RDM TM2. So the two stand still for making two doors at the same time. Uh, different from the system before, it, it's using the same frame and the same reference point. So one door is pushing to the other one as you glue. So, but very similar system to adjust the, the clamps in the same style. So when I'm ready, uh, today I'm doing the 90 degree door, so I don't need to stop at the low pressure sequence. But if you are doing a uh, 45 degree door with more ties and tendon joint, you can still do that in that model. So you will be stopping at middle position to pre-clamping. Uh, you can make a dumbbell check on the joint, make sure they're good looking. And then you can apply your full pressure. So now eat the, the first door, push on the second one. Uh, when we have larger clamp like this, uh, it happened that customer want to increase production volume. What they do sometimes is to make up to four doors at the times in the same section. So what they do, if the door are the same height, like here, there's probably two doors coming from the bottom of your kitchen uh, cabinets. So if they're all the same, so they can do two doors like this here, and some people, and then they can do another two doors here giving them four door per section. Uh, as soon as they are the same length, that will work. 
Now here is the adjustment for the position during the rotation. So if you adjust the disc to a different location a little bit, you can slide up or down. It will also make uh, the, the clamp stop at a different position as you can adjust to the right angle you wish based on the operator height.